Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll tell you the mathematical part of solving the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So if you have seen my previous video, you might have got the concept. What is the geometrical interpretation and what are the properties of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, right? So let's see how do we calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So what are the working steps? So as we said in the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors that we are working with a special matrix A and a special vector X so that on multiplying them when a matrix hits a vector, we get lambda times x, that means some scalar times the same vector. So how do we solve it? We take all the values on one side of the equation. So we get ax minus lambda times identity into x is equal to zero. So here you can see that there is a matrix A, there is no matrix here. So we write an identity matrix because identity do not alter the properties of a given matrix. So from there, we can take out x common and we get a minus lambda x. Now, for this is a homogeneous system of equations. So for a homogeneous system of equations to have a solution, it must satisfy determinant of a minus lambda i to be equal to zero. So this equation is a very, very important equation and it is called the characteristic equation, right? So the characteristic equation is given by modulus of a minus lambda. Now, when we solve this characteristic equation, we'll get some roots, right? Those roots are called the eigenvalues or the roots of this characteristic equation. That means on solving the characteristic uh, equation, we will get the values of lambda. So these lambdas will give rise to the eigenvalues. Then back in the equation two, we will put down the values of lambda. So we will be given matrix A. So we will subtract A minus lambda I and we'll get a matrix here multiplied with x is equal to 0. Again, it's a homogeneous system of equations and we will try to solve for x. When we get these values of x, they are always a non-zero vector and they are called the eigenvectors, right? So this is the methodology for solving the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. So you have to frame the equation ax equal to lambda x, take all the values on one side, get this homogeneous equation. This homogeneous equation will have a solution when determinant of a minus lambda is equal to zero. This is called the characteristic equation. Solve this equation and we'll get the roots. Those roots are called the eigenvalues or the eigenroots of this characteristic equation. And when we put back the values of lambda in the given equation two, we will again get a homogeneous system and we will solve for the value of x. So that x will be called the eigenvector right so now let so we need to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix so according to the eigenvalues and eigenvectors we have to frame a x equal to lambda x or a minus lambda i into x is equal to zero so here a matrix is 2 1 1 then we have 2 3 2 then we have 3, 3, 4, and we subtract lambda times an identity matrix of the same order, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, and we put it equal to 0. So from here we get 2 minus lambda, 1, 1, then 2, 3 minus lambda, 2, 3, 3, 3 minus, sorry, 4 minus lambda. And this is multiplied by the vector x is equal to 0. So now this is a homogeneous system and this system will have a solution whenever 2 minus lambda, the determinant of this matrix will become equal to 0, right? So we have 3, 3, 4 minus lambda. And when we put it equal to 0, we need to calculate the determinant. Now you can see that when we will calculate the determinant of this matrix, it will give rise to a cubic equation, right? So one method is that you can go by that method, but it leads to often errors. So what is a shortcut to get the cubic equation, the characteristic equation? You can see that the given matrix is 3 cross 3. So the shortcut says that the cubic equation framed will be lambda cube 
minus trace of the matrix into lambda square plus sum of the minors along the principal diagonals, right? Sum of the minors along principal diagonal. So we have to calculate the minors only on the principal diagonals multiplied by lambda minus the determinant of the matrix is equal to zero. So let us try to frame the equation using this method, right? So we have lambda cube minus, what is the trace? It is the sum of the diagonal positions. So two plus three, five plus four, nine. So we have nine lambda squared. <clears throat> Let's see what is the sum of the diagonals uh, minors. So minor of two will become three into four, 12, 12 minus six is six. Then we have diagonal of minor of three will be two into four, eight, eight minus three is five. And then we have minor along four, it will be six minus two, that is. So six plus five, 11, 11 plus four, 15. So we have 15 times lambda. And now let us try to calculate the determinant. So the determinant will be two times 2 times 12 minus 6 is 6. Then we have minus 1 time. We have 8 minus 6, that is 2. And then we have 1 time 6 minus 9, that is minus 3. So we get 12 minus 2 minus 3. So it is 12 minus 2, 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. So we get minus 7 is equal to 0. So what you can do is you can just calculate the determinant and you can check whether the equation comes out to be this, right? And after you get this equation, we have to solve for this equation to get the roots. So the first root can be calculated using a hit and trial method. So you can see that lambda equal to one satisfies this equation. One minus nine plus 15 minus seven is equal to zero. So after getting one, you can just divide this equation with lambda equal to 1, you'll get a cubic a quadratic equation and then you know how to find out the roots of that equation, right? Okay. This equation to find the roots of this equation, right? And we when we find the roots of this equation, we get the roots as 7, 1 and 1, right? Now, corresponding to these roots, we will calculate the eigenvectors. How to calculate it? We are given the matrix A minus lambda I into X is equal to zero. Now we know the values of lambda. So in the first place, we will put A minus seven. We'll put lambda equal to seven times I and we will frame the matrix. And after framing the matrix, we will see that we will get the matrix in this form, right? After framing this, you know how to calculate the values of x. You can reduce this matrix. And if you don't want to reduce the matrix, you can also find out the values of x1, x2, x3 with the help of cross multiplication. How? You can take any two equations. Suppose I take these two equations. Minus 5x1 plus x2 my, uh, plus x3 is equal to 0. And I take the second equation as 2x1 minus 4x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 0, right? So now how to solve it? We'll write x1 here. We will write minus of x2 here. And we will write x3 over here, right? So when you are calculating x1, just hide x1. And when you hide x1, you get this. Just cross multiply the coefficients. 1 into 2 is 2, 2 minus minus 4, so that is 6. Then hide x2, minus 10, minus 2, we get minus 12. And then hide x3, we get 20 minus 2, that is 18. So in other words, we get x1 by 6, this minus gets cancelled, x2 by 12, x3 by 18. And you can reduce by 6, so we get x1 by 1, x2 by 2, and x3 by 3 and you can put this equal to k so you will get x1 equal to k x2 equal to 2k and x3 equal to 3k so when we write down the vector we drop that constant k 
and we get the reduced matrix as 1, 2 and 3. Similarly, we'll take up the second case of lambda equal to 1. We'll substitute here and we will get a minus i into x is equal to 0. And when we solve the, that equation, we'll get the equation as x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. So now, since there is only one equation, so we have to give any one of the variables equal to value 0. We have just taken a, a solution like this that let x2 be 0 and x1 be 1. So we get x3 as minus 1. So we get the second vector x2 as 0, 1 and minus 1. So they become our eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues 7, 1 and 1. Right? Okay. So now let's move on to the next question. And in the next question, I've given you one a question to practice. So you are given the eigenvalues. You have to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. And the when you solve for it, you will find that the eigenvalues are lambda 1, lambda is 1, minus 2 and 3 and the eigenvalues will come out to be minus 1, 1, 1, minus 11, minus 1 and 14 and 1, 1 and 3, right? Likewise, you can solve this question that find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. So on solving, you will get the eigenvalues as this is the equation characteristic equation, you'll get the eigenvalues as 2, 2, 1, 8. And when you solve in for lambda equal to 8, you'll get the eigenvalues as 2, minus 1, 1. And for lambda equal to 2, you will get the eigenvalues as 0, 1, and 1. Right? Similarly, you can check on these questions. And if you have any problems in the questions, do put it in the comment section. And those of you who have liked my video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you so much and believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed.